this is our next uh, guest and our next uh, topic now. There's a, a new book, actually a new version of this book, the Modern C++ for Absolute Beginners book has a new version, uh, second edition. And we are going to talk with the author now about this. Let me bring on uh, Slobodan. Hello, Slobodan. Hello, uh, Jens. See, also you're sharing your book, so I can share that. So um, tell us about the new version. Yeah, sure. So this is the second version of the uh, of my first book, which was uh, which is a modern C++ for absolute beginners. But I like to refer to my book by its second title, which is a, a friendly introduction to C++. The, the book introduces the language itself, the standard library, and modern C++ standards. In the second edition, I've covered uh, some of the features in C++ 23. Also, the second ed edition features more diagrams. And one of the feedbacks I often receive is that people would like to see uh, full source code projects. So I've included uh, six new full source code projects in addition to the exercises. So I'm very much looking forward to having a discussion with people on Hubilo platform. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me and looking forward to presenting about my book. Okay, what what can you show us about you? You have the book here. Can you show us a chapter, an example? Uh, sure, sure. Basically, the book is divided. The book is divided into. Let's look at the table of contents. The book is divided into uh, basically three parts. The first part deals with the language itself, the basic facilities in the language, followed by the abstraction mechanisms such as classes and templates. Then we move on to the standard library where we cover some of the most used uh, algorithms and containers, etc. Also, finally, we are addressing the notable features introduced in C++ 11, 14, 17, and 23. And finally, uh, at the end of this book, there are four, basically six source code projects fully written out in, with the basic commentary, etc., etc. So after each of these uh, uh, theoretical introduction there is uh, there is an exercises part with solved source code exercises which i've also included after every every chapter so i'm very much looking forward to any uh, questions you might have about this book and looking forward to it once again okay thank you you're welcome so if you're uh, curious about his book um you'll be later on the launch and yeah, I've, I've heard very good things about your first version and it's very popular. I, I can kind of you know, see at which books people look and uh, your first version has been in the top five there at Meeting C++. So definitely uh, there has been some interest in, in that book. And now we have a version which also covers um, the newer standards. Maybe we, talk, we should talk about that uh, a quick, uh, a little bit. Um, What's, sure. what's like your insight with yeah. C20 and 23? Well, well basically, in, in the, uh, the second edition, I wanted to feel, I wanted to focus more on... Uh, I've revisited some of the chapters. I didn't, as you said earlier, there isn't so much material in C23 to be addressed. But basically, what I put my focus on were addressing and readdressing a couple of topics which were introduced in the first edition. And I also introduced many more diagrams. People wanted to see more diagrams, the visual representations of certain concepts. So I did that. I've also updated a couple of exercises and mainly what people wanted to see were fully written out uh, source code uh, projects written from zero. And then we build in complexity and, uh, and the commentary is also there, et cetera, et cetera. So we're building complexity step by step. We start by zero and then we are expanding. So. I'm very much looking forward uh, to any questions in the Qbilo platform after this presentation. Okay, so if that's everything you have to say about your book, then we we'll look forward to coming to your table and um, meet the author and the book. So let's see who is next. Thanks, Lobodan. Um, we Thank have. You. Conan as our guest now. 